Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. Today I'm going to be taking you guys to Home Depot to do a little bit of plant shopping. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any plants, but I'm definitely going to show you guys what they have. I'm also taking a quick stop at Canadian Tire to get some seeds for my brand new hydroponics grow setup, which I will get into a little bit later, but I'm super excited to get all of that started. With that being said, I also want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Tricon. They provided me with the little machine that I'm going to show you in just a little bit, but yeah, before we get into today's video, if you guys are not already subscribed, definitely click that button down below. Give this video a thumbs up while you're at it and comment as well to be entered into the $20 Amazon gift card giveaway. Also, if you want to become a member, you can do so by clicking the link down below in the description or you can find the join button sometimes and that will get you there too. But yeah, that is going to be all before we get into today's video. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Thank you so much to Tricann for sponsoring today's video. I've always struggled with the upkeep involved with growing veggies outdoors because they dry out so quickly. So this automated hydroponics grow system is really the perfect solution for me. This model has 12 spaces, so you could grow as many types of plants as you'd like. It's also one of the most affordable options on Amazon at only $89 Canadian, but it definitely doesn't compromise on quality. Everything you need to start your seeds and grow veggies indoors is included in the box. It comes with more than enough plugs to begin, domes to keep the humidity in check, an air pump to aerate the water below, nutrients to sustain the plants, and also a grow light that maintains a perfect day-night cycle. The height of the light is also adjustable so it can grow with your plants. You can also adjust the light settings for vegetation or for flowers depending on your needs. Stay tuned until the end of the video to watch me set up my grow system. All right guys, so we're just getting ready to go to Home Depot and Canadian Tire. I don't think they're gonna have much at Canadian Tire, but let's just go over there and see. Okay, so I think we're gonna get these guys, some micro greens and I want to get some basil. What's the difference though? Mm. Do we want cilantro? Yeah. Okay. And then parsley? Yeah. Um. Yeah, like what do we want? Like, do you need a lot of space for these though? I don't know how they grow. I don't think so. These go underground. Like they grow. Um, let's get some lettuce too. Okay, I think this is what we'll get from here. We're also gonna pick up some potting mix and perlite while we're here. Right out front here, they have some Boston ferns for $19.99. And then some parlor palms or majesty palms here. They're in 10 inch pots for $21. They've also got some of these super cute um, banana trees here for only $19.98. That's actually a really good price. This would look cute on our little balcony. All right, so this is about the most stocked up it's been in here. Um, so I'll just go through and show you guys what we've got. Some succulents here for $3.98. Lots of really healthy looking ones. It looks like they just got them in. Probably a brand new shipment. Some nice Haworthias here. There are also some really nice aloe hybrids here. So pretty. Some rickrack cactus. These guys are $8.98. And then some jade plants here. These are in six inch pots for $13. Really nice. And then lots of polka dot plants. There's the pink ones, red ones, and white ones. 
These guys are all $3.98. And then we've got some Tradescantia Zebrinas here for $3.98 as well. Some Tradescantia Nanooks. These guys are $12.98. Looking pretty healthy. Also some Ivy. These guys are $2.98. Some variegated ones here. And then $8 for the six inch pots of the regular Ivy. Then here we've also got some Dracaenas. These guys are $3.98. I love this variety. We've got some Crotons here and some little fiddly figs. These are the Bambino though. So they're not gonna get much bigger than this and they are $12. Then over here, there are some coconut palms. These guys are $21. Some nice monsteras, which of course I'm gonna be checking a little bit for some variegation. Um, these guys are $12.98. Lots of them in through there. Some Dracaena marginata. This is the exact same that I have in my living room right now. These guys are $4.98. It's just a single plant though in here. Got some other Croton varieties here for $9.98 in a six inch pot. These guys are actually pretty nice. Some bird nest snake plants. Uh, this guy here is $15. Great price for that size. They also have some night owl. I think that's what this is called, which are pretty uncommon. Only $12. Some more Dracaenas here. I think these are some banana plants for $6.98. Some white lace ferns here. These guys are $9.98. Some Peperomia obtusifolias. Oh, wow. They have Birkins here for only $12. That's a really great price and they all look super nicely variegated and healthy. Some variegated Peperomia obtusifolias. Some Tradescantia nanooks again. And then lots of different assorted ferns here in some smaller sizes. Some Pilea peperomioides. These guys are $8.98 or $8.99. And then some uh, assorted cacti here. We've got some fuzzier ones and you know, some pricklier ones. <laughs> there are also some really nice African violets here. They definitely just got these in because they're looking super healthy. Then over here, there are some really nice bowls of Sansevierias for only $24. They are really, really full. Some more majesty palms here. I also wanna just see if they have some hibiscus. Oh some more plants back there over here there are some larger plants we've got some larger crotons and monsteras in here too uh, the monsteras are in eight inch pots and they are only 39 dollars got some big leaves on them and some larger fiddle leaf figs we've also got some yuccas back here and some really bright and vibrant um, crotons. They've also got some seeds here, which I do want to check out because uh, we did get some at Canadian Tire, but they didn't have an amazing selection. Zesty salsa. <laughs> oh, it comes with everything to grow. They sell catnip, that's cool. We don't need that. <laughs> Our cat's crazy as it is. Yeah, I think we're good on seeds, but I did want to still check it out. All right, guys, well, we just got back from Home Depot and Canadian Tire, and I have my seeds. So I really want to go ahead and plant them in my new little hydroponics grow system. So yeah, I'm just gonna basically open some up and show you guys my little setup going on. I really wish that I had something to label them. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of leave them laid out in what row I put them in so I can kind of remember. 
um, and then I'll figure out a label at some point. From what I've seen, I think the best bet is to put two or three seeds in each of the little pods because it's pretty rare that you're going to get 100% germination. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do two or three seeds per little pod and start there. So the system did also come with some extra little pods or um, what are these called? Plugs, I guess. So if there is a mistake and I need to replace this, I definitely can. I've got a few extras. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. And they just sit in here. Underneath here is just a reservoir filled with water. And I showed you guys a little bit earlier, you fill it up right here. These little caps are really awesome too, to keep the humidity in. Again, I'm not a scientist. I really don't know how this works, but that is why I got one of these. I'm really, really excited. I think this is gonna be super easy compared to growing these like in my backyard or something. So let's go ahead. Do you wanna see where we're gonna grow the food? Do you approve? Alrighty, so I think I'm going to start off with some of the basil. Um, how do I open this? <laughs> I can promise you I'm a real noob when it comes to this stuff, so if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. It's probably irreversible anyways, but <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Let me see what it tells me to do. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick with my gut and put two or three and uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm gonna put two or three in each of these little pods on the left. And then I'll just put the rest back in the package here if I can. Okay, and then we're gonna close these ones up with the little domes here. I definitely wanna do some cilantro too, so we're gonna go ahead and put that beside the basil. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I may be able to put the names at least on here until they start growing. And then by the time they start growing, I might be able to identify them anyways. Ooh, these are a lot different. I mean, of course they are. These look like little peppercorns. Okay, so we're gonna do two of these guys in the next three of these. And then some parsley. And then we'll do three of these in the little hole. I'm actually only going to do parsley in two of these so that I have a little bit more room for the microgreens and lettuce. So I'm going to fill up, oh my gosh, I need to remember what I did here. <laughs> Um, I think I only put these two. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do three lettuce, one, two, three, and then just one of the microgreens there. Ooh, these are so interesting. That's not at all what I expected for the seeds for these ones. But we'll do three of those in each. And then last but not least, we'll do this guy here. So I am actually really excited about what we have going on in here. I really think this is going to be successful and I will definitely update you guys as I go. My first impression of the Tricon machine though is that it's great. It's really, really user friendly. I do currently have these lights on the flower setting, but I really need to put this on the vegetative setting because everything that I'm growing here is more of a veggie, if you know what I mean. So that's why I need to use the purple light for this one. It does look a little bit funkier, but this thing knows what it's doing, so I trust it that it's giving the right light output for these little seedlings here. And I am keeping this as low as possible because I know that the light when you're growing these inside should be really close to the seeds. Um, and then eventually as they grow up, I can move that up a little bit as you guys saw earlier, but I am really excited about this and I hope you guys are too. Do you like the machine? Yeah, it's really cool. Hey, Louie, do you like it? 
If you do want one for yourself and you are in Canada or the US, I will leave both links to their Amazon shop down below so that you guys can check it out. I don't receive any percentage of your purchase, but I really do recommend these. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly grow system, hydroponics, I definitely recommend this machine here. The biggest issue that I had before growing veggies was watering them. I could never stay on top of the watering and this is the perfect solution for that. All you have to do is watch the little bobber here and if it goes below a certain level there, you just have to fill it up using the little hole there. So it is a super intuitive little machine here. All right guys, well that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. I had so much fun making this video. I'm so excited to see how the herbs and veggies grow. I will definitely keep you guys updated on my Instagram and even on here I'll just pop it into a random video. But yeah, don't forget to enter the $20 Amazon gift card giveaway by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing down below and also leaving a comment. But that's going to be all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.